and it's this one. Yeah? Yeah, remember at the start I asked you to think about some learning you'd done? Yeah? Well, the reality is, I don't know about you, but for me, some of, my, some of the best lessons I've learned have been from doing things that were a, made a mistake or I got it wrong or it was a failure. But I learned a great lesson. So isn't it a shame that we often waste our mistakes? You know? We often pay a lot. We pay a lot for our mistakes and our failures. Don't, you know, we don't want to waste that investment. But the reality is, unfortunately, some entrepreneurs, they refuse to admit mistakes because they think it's a sign of weakness or shame. Hmm? I think about this in my life as a, as a professor. Um, you may have heard that professors have to publish or perish. Have you heard that said? Yeah, it's true. Whenever we publish, we all say, wow, I've published. But the reality is, you get a lot more rejections. Right? No one tells you about their rejections. But the reality is, that's where we learn most of the things we know. It's from the rejections that we learn, not the acceptances. Yes, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I, I find this a very personal lesson as well. So they don't learn, and they're more likely to make the same mistake again. That's the tragedy. If we deny our failures and we refuse to, to learn from them and say, wow, that was a mistake, that was a failure, what did I do wrong, what can I do better? If we don't think that through, there's a, better ch there's a chance you'll make the same mistake again. As I said, don't waste your investment in failure. So avoiding that mistake, take responsibility for mistakes and acknowledge them. And my advice to you is if you're starting a new company or an entrepreneurial a new company, realize that this will happen and make it okay Make it okay for your people to own their mistakes. I mean, there are limits. Yeah? Ethical mistakes? No. Right? But make it okay to have a good mistake. And establish a process that allows fair mistakes to be diagnosed without fear of punishment. Yeah? Establish that sort of trust within your company, within your partners, so that you can think these things through, because, and then you can learn. And accept and welcome the good mistakes, while avoiding what I've called the stupid ones, the ones you won't learn from, the ones that can only cause you harm. So there are two kinds of mistakes. And the important thing is understand the difference and learn from the good ones that you're probably going to make. And then, building teams of trust, where the, the communication, the relationships, the creativity can be exchanged and can flow. That, from my experience, is a critical element to building successful entrepreneurial companies. Thank you. <laughs>